Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup. And today I'm really excited because yesterday or the day before yesterday, I just got my color rain order with the two mini palettes right here. It's the Beauty Rust palette and the Smoke Show palette. And I'm just going to open them up so you can see. So this is how the Beauty Rust palette looks like. It has one shimmer and as you can see it has this delicious mustardy yellow right here. It looks a little bit more green in the pan. Um, generally I feel like these colors look a little bit different in the palette because it has this bright orange background but I swear it is very like spring and warm toned once you see them swatched out. And then we have the Smoke Show palette right here, which has this more cooler toned um, color story, just because it has this beautiful deep green, which is basically the reason why I got this palette. <laughs> and then it has this very unique black shimmer, which I used on my face today and I really enjoyed it. And of course you have some more neutral tones and a bright light peach shade. And there's also just this one shimmer in this palette. Since I already did uh, do some swatches with these, I'm just going to leave up the photos of the swatches that I did for the Beauty Rest palette and for the Smoke Show palette, so you can see how they look like on my um, arm. And I will also probably just show you some quick videos that I did with my phone, just to show how the shimmers look like with a flash, just because they're really sparkly and beautiful. Anyway, I will just go ahead and show you how I did this look right here because I did want to test both the palettes out so I used some different shades from both of them just as a first impression and yeah, this is the result so if you're interested in seeing how I achieved that then please keep on watching. So I'm coming to you quite barefaced right now. I've been out in the sun the last day and my freckles are starting to show and I love it. <laughs> So I'm just going to start out with some eyeshadows now and I think like what I want to do is I want to like I have to use this green and I'm going to use this one all over my lid, the shimmery black and I think I will go into the Beauty Rust palette to add some warmth to my look so I'm going to use this one probably to blend out the green and then I might just dip into this one for the deepest shade in my inner or outer crease. I haven't really decided where I want to put them yet. <laughs> and then of course blend out with some of the lighter shades. So I haven't really decided that yet. But I think I want to have mainly, mainly a green look. So I'll just go ahead and dip into the shade Showtime right here. And I'm just going to use this brush from Kaleidos Makeup that they sent me. I'm using it all the time and it's the S3 brush and I did just apply my NARS smudge proof primer and I have it in the shade clear. As always I'm just tapping in the pigment where I want it and then slightly buffing out the edges. So it is blending out quite nicely but I will go into the shade Daisy from the Beauty Rest palette and for that I'm just using my S5 brush also from Kaleidos and then I'm just overlapping right here wow that is so so pigmented I'm just loving these two colors together and I'll just go ahead and use a clean little brush like this and some setting powder just underneath my brow. I just like to do this so that I don't have the shadow sticking way too far up onto the brow bone right here and it also just helps the blending a little bit. Just like that. And I'm just dipping in with that same brush that I just used for the brow bone into this shade Dusk right here, which is like a super deep burgundy shade almost. And it felt really dry when I swatched it, but I'm hoping it performs great. It looks a little bit lighter than it does in the pan. Ooh, but I love that color. How beautiful is that? I've been really looking for more shades like this, like really deep reds just like Poison on Your Lips by Luxie Beauty. I just love that kind of shade. And all of these three shades are like some of my favorite ones, like a deep 
grungy green, some mustardy toned yellows and deep burgundy reds. I just love that. And it's actually applying really nicely. I did not apply any extra product onto this brush, I'm just using whatever is left of that yellow shade. And just like blending slightly. Now I'm just dipping back into that green just to intensify and make sure I have the nicest blending that I can just between the, all these three shadows right here. Taking a little bit more of that yellow. I just love the shade I get when I mix these two. I feel like there's like a patch here but it might just be because I didn't apply the my eye primer right there. So I'll just repeat this on the other eye and then I will come back to do... Um, I think I will do the shimmer next and then I will just fix this outer corner once I do my lower lash line. Okay, so now I have the mattes on both of my creases and I'm probably going to work a little bit more with the blending once I have the black on. Just because a black lid is... like I usually always want to have a matte in my crease that is just as dark as the shimmer that I put on my crease but I did just find this one before I started doing my makeup it's the Colourpop literally obsessed in dream about me so I'm thinking I might just do a line with this to just line out the cat crease because this one would be really pretty with these colors I feel like um, but yeah I think I will just go ahead and apply this black shimmer smoke screen right here and I'm just going to put it on with a brush like this. I'm not going to use any kind of glitter glue. I will just spray my brush with my Mario Badescu spray and hope that that will be good because colored rain shimmers are always just super super smooth and creamy so I don't think that will be a problem. I feel like this shade looks a little bit like oil almost. It does actually blend quite nicely into the mattes I feel like. I'll just go ahead because I managed to put it a little bit too far up right there. So I don't know if I'll be able to <laughs> remove that because it is a creamy shimmer. But I'm just cleaning off the small brush that I used and I'll just be taking a little bit of that dusk shade, the burgundy. I'll just try to blend that out. So I feel like this is actually looking quite cool even without even without a liner. So maybe I will just leave it like this even though I was really excited to use this glitter because it's like so pretty. But I really do like how it's looking so far. So I'm just going to go ahead over the like and blend out the edges here just to make sure that I have those colors that I placed down first and then I'll do my face makeup and I'll be back to do my lower lash line. So there's obviously something that has happened here. <laughs> um, it's not like that on the other eye so I don't really know what I did. I think it's what I said earlier about it being my primer that I didn't drag to like long enough out on the edge but anyway I'm just going to apply this showtime shade the green one and I'll blend it out with that yellow and then I will use one of the oranges I think I might just use the orange from the other palette not this one but then I can use a little bit of that other shimmer on my lower lash line so that I've used both of the shimmers in the palettes because there's only one in each so I'll basically just be working on the corners here and since I have this weird patch I'm probably going to drag it a bit out like that so I just ended up taking a little piece of a wipe and I just rubbed away most of that because it was like dragged out way too far and super patchy and I felt like it ended up okay looking now it's still not the best because I didn't use my primer I just used a sponge the one I used for my face makeup and a tiny bit of concealer so that's why it's not as blended as this side but it's fine 
I will just be going in with the shade Recharge right here and I'm just taking that same brush that I used with the red shadow and I will just be placing that right under here and connecting it with that green and then I will use um, a wet brush with the shade Dream right here just to have a little pop of shimmer on my lower lash line as well. And I did just drag the yellow shade a little bit underneath here. So I think this is it for the look. I'm of course going to put in some kind of inner corner highlight. So I'll just go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then I will show you the finished look. So that is how my finished look ended up looking like and I ended up using my uh, Guerlain lip liner in the shade Brun Chocolat for my lips and also I ended up using my new colored rain chocolate lipstick. I just got a bunch of the colored rain bullet lipsticks, eight of them actually, <laughs> and I just did a lip swatching video with those and the proper beauty ones I got. I only got two of them. It's the shade Limitless and Made It and I'm quite sure that will be up either before this video or after it. Either way, I will link it down below in the description box so you can go and check it out. And yeah, for the rest of my face, I ended up of course using my Jouer Sunswept Bronzer that I always use for my cheeks. And for my blush, I actually ended up mixing two shades from the different palettes that I used today. So I ended up using mostly this one called Naked Eye. It's like this very pale peach, but it's also a little bit bright. It reminds me a bit of Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And I just blended in a little bit of this one as well. It's the shade Natural. And I do really like how they ended up looking on my cheek. If you're of a deeper complexion than me, then I'm sure that you could definitely mix together some of the other orangey tones in these palettes to get a peachy orangey blush as well. So that's a big plus if you like to bring your palettes to travel for example then you know you have some blushes in these as well. For my highlights I ended up using Mimosa by Luxie Beauty on my cheeks and for my inner corner I ended up using Stiletto which is this white to yellow duochrome highlighter which I thought looked really good with this look. Also, I ended up using a like an orange eyeliner in my waterline. I used the Likeable Mood Crayon by Linda Halberg. I think that's all of the different products I used. I will, of course, leave everything down below in the description box like I always do. And yeah, I think I really, really enjoy all of these shades. They are so beautiful. I don't know what happened to this corner right here, but I did manage to fix it like 90%. I don't know. <laughs> I think it looks definitely wearable and I would certainly feel comfortable going out like this. And it, I didn't have any problems with this side of the... or like this eye. <laughs> and I just really like the different colors in these palettes. I definitely like the green. I love the black shimmer. It's so unique. And I think these are so, so worth it. And I will be depotting these and putting them in my Colored Rain Book of Shades. So maybe I will make a video on that in the future. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you did like my video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see more videos from me. Then you're very welcome to stay here on my channel. So thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!